University of Texas released a long-awaited report today about the school's song, The Eyes of Texas. Is it a racist song? The short answer, it's complicated. More complicated than perhaps any of us ever knew. Parts of that history are inspiring and surprising. Other parts are disappointing and challenging. The controversy over the eyes of Texas boiled over last year when some UT athletes participated in racial injustice protests and demanded the song be dropped. Some university donors responded, threatening to pull their money if the song was dropped. So a school committee investigated the song's origins, the lyrics, the history, and found that the intent of the song was not overtly racist. But research did find that the song, created in 1903, was probably debuted in blackface. The 24-person committee found no evidence or intent to show nostalgia for slavery. And then there's the melody. It's borrowed from the song, I've Been Working on the Railroad, which has racist lyrics. It was likely used because it was an already well-known and easy-to-sing song. UT did release pre-recorded statements from the committee about what they found going through the months-long process, separating fact from fiction, and looking at history. A lot of it is myth-making. A lot of it was uh, people taking pieces of information, even a pretty important source, T.U. Taylor's History of the University of Texas, that really don't stand up under scrutiny when you start looking at, well, how do we know that what's being reported in this book from the 1930s is actually accurate? UT is now using the issue to promote diversity on campus and recognize the history of the university's first black students.